Hey guys, just wanted to do my reaction to The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 10. Um, Omega. <clears throat> so, adaptation, briefly recap. Um, they captured a whisperer known as Lydia, saying her, apparently implying that her mom's the leader. Um, since they didn't get any more information, they were struggling to get information out of her to begin with. Dale decides to leave, him in, leave her in her cell and befriend Henry, who's in the other cell. Um... And basically re relies on listening to their conversations and having Lydia let her guard down in front of Henry so we can get more information that way. Negan, is, Negan um, got out of Alexandria, even though getting caught by Judith. He sweet-talked his way into, into, into being let go and just found that there wasn't much for him outside of prison. I mean, he had to fend himself, fend him, he had to struggle to find food and fend them and fend off with walkers and wild dogs and going back to the sanctuary they realized there was nothing there except for him to get his motorcycle but then um but then of course she was caught and then she was of course um shot to wound by um judith and decided to go back to the um alexandria peacefully and And what I, I guess because um, Jesus is dead, Tara is not going to be the head of the hilltop, and Daryl agrees to stick around and help her, um, help her out. Um, and it turns out that when Eugene was trying to confess his feelings for Rosita, um, she ended up having to go outside to throw up, and we found out that she had a brief fling with Sid. Sadiq and before getting together with Gabriel is not pregnant with his child, which over which um, Eugene over here over here as much to his dismay, and he actually pretty heartbroken. He kind of felt bad for him, but I guess we're gonna see more. You know, I guess this episode. I don't remember what happened in the trailer. I think we're supposed to see more of the whisperers and see where everything goes from there. Um, but yeah, so far it's been a really good season. <laughs> the flashback? Looks like a flashback. And your dad. My dad was a stupid man. My mom, though. She kept me alive, kept me safe. She's a lot like your mom. You don't mess with her either. Wait, so is the mom that's talking to Carol and know about her? Or just make, or just assuming they're the same. I can be a ghost. Every day's Halloween, baby. Don't you see all these freaks pretending there's something still to be hopeful about? Frank, isn't Daddy funny? Person who got messed up out there. And she's right about you, you know that? You're an asshole. You want answers? Get them yourself. Be damned if I'm gonna let you risk all this. You're weak. 
I'm pathetic. There is no room for you here. So shut your mouth. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Wow. Talk about a role reversal. We go. Who else? They're all gonna go. And I'll wait for her. It's Luke. Minute by minute, day by day, ride or die. That's how we got here, so we keep that. We need to. Even if it costs us all this. are good but these assholes they ain't picky they'll use whatever's laying around but a good switch from a birch tree that'll work your dad sounds a lot like one of those dads except the part where he sang to you when you were scared those dads they like it when you're scared. Thing is, that's the only part of your story that didn't sound like bullshit. Now you knew exactly what this was when I walked down there. And those bruises on your arm, they come from a beating. So let me ask you, if your dad's dead, who gave him to you? My mom. Where is she? We should wait till morning. It's safer. She's right. We need to see what we're doing. Agreed. Everyone? It's gonna turn before that. My dad asked my mom why she kept her hair so short. She said when it was long, her first husband would grab it when she tried to get away. He would pull it and slam her against the wall. So one day, she just cut it all off. So he couldn't. And I guess it took her this long to feel safe again. Wow. Sometimes you act like the type of guy who slams people against walls, but I don't think that's it. No, she's right. Go back. They can't see the whispers go for knives either. Not gonna, that's not going to be good. Every horror movie, horror movie you get separated, or even on this show, kind of does it. Yeah, just for a bit. We just have to be quiet. Oh, you... Stay out of sight. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Cool? Cool. Not cool. Yeah. 
Dr. Blacksmith, Cobbler, you name it. Oh, my God. That's why we... Nobody's coming, Lydia. World's over. I'm doing what I want now. He was soft. Now he's dead. Put it on. This is how we live. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Hey, what'd you find? Nothing. Look, it was wrong of us to leave. I just wish we'd realized that sooner. I should have. She jinxed it. I. No, 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 no. Should I give some kind of ultimatum? Is she going to? I am Alpha. And we only want one thing from you. My daughter. Okay, so... <clears throat> The mom really did go back for her. Um, I guess like how much does she really care is coming to question because she was clearly an abusive parent and cold and manipulated her to think, you know, kind of like and, and the physical and probably a mental abuse probably made her think that it's like, oh, her mom, her mom knew what's best and kind of twisted her perception of how things really were, kind of like how Nora's percept Nora at West Allen's on The Flash, her perception of um, her own mom was kind of distorted, although it was more of like her own accord, but this was more, but yeah, with Lydia's case, it was more of a case of abuse. I was surprised that um, Henry was able to kind of get through to her and like, Kind of like break down her emotional barriers. I thought it would take like more, like more than a few. I thought it would take like so, like a few episodes where that happened, but Henry was right. And then Daryl, you know, having an abusive childhood, you know, was able to f f empathize with her and notice and recognize the scars on scars on her arm. And you know, Henry confirmed saying that how talking about how Carol originally had short hair because um her former husband went grab and it took like you know up until like you know post um savior war for it to you know grow back and feel like a sense of safety again but wow this I mean this is probably all stuff that probably came to light in earlier seasons like I said I got into the show very late so I'm sure this is probably something this is probably not new information to fans. It is new information for me, though. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it kind of makes you wonder, like, what exactly, like, how much does the woman really care about, Lydia's mom really care about her, And but, I mean, she's guess she's coming to rescue her, but it's still kind of unclear. Um... I guess they're going to do some kind of a. Tra I'm assuming they're doing some kind of a trade. Um, you know, the daughter for Luke. I guess a bargaining chip. Um, the daughter for Luke and Alden, because it's not like if they were dead. I think they would have confirmed it or showed us. They're just doing a trade, but it's got to be. 
I mean, I feel that it can't be this this simple. There's more to the story about what they're planning, and you know, at least for this community, in any case. But I'm not sure if even the mother's gonna go to their end end of the deal and. And, you know, Magnus group going out in the dark was kind of, it really was kind of a hard, hard at time to do. They were trying to look out for Luke and Alden and primarily Luke. Um, just the fact that, yeah, I was thinking like you're getting separated. It's like, oh, there's something bad's bound to happen. So, of course, all the Whisperers showed up and thought, oh, the deaf woman was going to be captured or killed. But no, I guess they're just going to do some kind of exchange as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, I think overall, you know, pretty solid episode. I like the whole, you know, the whole thing with the whispers is kind of like, it's a bit of a game changer. Cause now it's like, they don't know. It's like, oh, are they going to have to deal with regular walkers now? Or just like, are they going to be, had to worry about getting jumped about by, um, whispers or not. But you know, that was a solid entry and a very good season. What do you guys think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.